Hello, welcome back to Bricks and Block and today we'll be opening slash reviewing Lego Dream Set 71461 Fantastical Treehouse. They come with 1,257 pieces and it comes with four minifigures and a few other extra characters. This set comes with 11 bags, a pretty decent sized instruction manual, and a big sticker sheet. So first thing if you want to take a look at is Mario, I really like his hair piece, it's really unique, I like the like slime detail on his hair, and I also like his facial expression, and I also like seeing the Batman like belt in green, I think that's a pretty rare piece, or it's never been used before, size on the character, I really like the pencil accessory, and yeah, I also had a ton of great playing too. So the second figure we have is Izzy. She comes with this nice yellow waist cape, which I do not understand if on this $100 set they'll put it on this Izzy figure, but they can't put it on a $600 Captain Rex that needs it more than Izzy. That's just super confusing in my opinion, but I do love that Lego put a waist cape on her at the very least. But she does come with some amazing print, and I also like a sort of translucent hair piece. The third figure we have Miss Castle. I'm sorry if I did not pronounce that correctly. She comes with this unique new um, piece, like her torso slash leg. It's really unique in my opinion. I really like how like the backpack sort of built into it, but not at the same time. I really like her staff building. I also like her white hair piece, because not that common. To get in white, it's usually common in gray, but not really in white. So the fourth and final figure we have is Night Hunter. I really love this figure. I don't know, it just has this vibe that I really like to it. I like his new piece of like the scarf on like the head and the torso that looks really cool. And I also like all that amazing thing. A blaster slash like bone arrow look kind of goofy in my opinion with the eye, but it still look kind of good. So we're going to take a look at these three at the same time because they have very similar things with them. We have Dream One Mushroom, Z-Blob, and Sningling. They all have that unique new torso piece that looks like it'll go on a teddy bear, but it isn't. It's a very real, real piece in my opinion, which is... Either they brought it back for the theme or it's exclusive for the theme. I'm not home since so, but it looks really good in my opinion how they brought it back. And it kind of makes like a funny figure in my opinion, especially with like Sningling where they put that humongous head on him. With all three, that humongous head is on a lot of sets, so it's nice to see it too. Second, I'm going to take a look at the two mechs they get in the side. I have similar opinions on both of them. The real real build in my opinion, like they fit the dream theme, but they look very odd in my opinion. If I like one over the other, I like the Night Hunters like mech that looks really cool in my opinion. But the one with the mailbox in my opinion kinda of look goofy and it always falls down and can never really stay up. But I do really like the Dream Hunters mech, I really like how it has a jail where you can stick um Z Blob or the Dreamling Mushroom in there. So yeah, it looks really cool in my opinion. But for the mailbox one, it isn't really a great mech in my opinion. Let's start from the bottom on the treehouse and work our way up to the top. So I really like this little area down here with like all the rocks and stuff. I like how it's like a little mushroom like garden, I guess what you want to call it. And I like selling I like that flag. That flag's actually seen a couple of times, like up here on top of the swing. You can't see it, but it's there. Speaking of swing, there's the swing build. It's actually really unique. You like pull on the, like you move the flag on the side of it to make it go up and down. But I do have to warn you though, it does come bent, like inside the packaging. So I buy mine, kind of look a little bit funky. And here we have, in my opinion, just the knockoff Mario Piranha plant. It looks like something that I prefer to see in the Mario set, but that isn't what we get in the Mario set. That kind of weird, in my opinion, like that they copy that design from the Mario team. I'm imagining they did that purposely. I can't imagine they did that, like, on accident. If they did, that would be really weird. 
up here we have this little balcony area where you can move this down like that. Oh yeah, another thing I like to mention, as you can see it wobbles. And that's not my build of it, like I didn't pull anything up. That's how it is, it like wobbles, it loves to wobble, and that's just the weird thing about this set. I wish it was on a bigger platform, I think that's what would make it better. But getting back to here, you can turn this into a ladder. You're supposed to keep that one like that, but this one can change to a ladder, which is really cool. So yeah, let's work our way up now. So for the mill section of the build, it's very unique. You get to build both of these um, little buildings or I guess patios because they're kind of sticking out of the treehouse. And the cool thing about this is you can take them off and put them whatever you want, like whatever is equipped. Like, say if you wanted that one up there, you can't do that, and you can just flip them, which is really cool. You can also do it with that one, but it might block on the top of it, so you might not want to do that. You might just want to keep that one back. It's an option if you really want to do that. I really like each of these builds. I think I like this one a little bit better. I like the neon green and stuff like that. But this one still is really cool, in my opinion. And you can start to see some of the trees right here, which look absolutely beautiful. I'm going to cover them right now before we have the top. They're a really unique build. And also, like, dripping off them is, like, this piece right here, which I I think it's exclusive, but it might have been seen in another set. I know it's been a concept like that of a piece, but it might not be exact. I'm not home since so. But I really like the blue. That's a really unique choice compared to the average green that they would do if it was like a normal like city set. So that's really unique to see in my opinion. So now we're at the very top of the building. Now you can really see those leaves and all the glory. They look a lot better up here, in my opinion, than they do on the side. I really like this little pirate ship build that they kind of added. It looks kind of funny, in my opinion, but it still looks good, in my opinion. I like that little telescope build. I wish more Lego sets had a nice telescope build like that. And I also like the thing that you climb up on. I forget what you call it. And then you have this, which appears in every pirate ship side, in my opinion. So yeah, it's real nice to see that because other than that, it's real not seen in many other sets. But yeah, it's really about it for like the top of the set. There's nothing much to it, but there's still a couple of cool things. Well, a little plus on this set is that it's a really great set. I love all the mini figures. I wouldn't pay over $100 for this. I got this for $90 at my local Costco, which I think was a really great deal. I wouldn't recommend buying this right now because I think it's going to go on sale as, like, the month go on because Lego Dreams isn't selling that well. It's definitely selling better than, like, video and stuff like that. But all Lego non-licensed things, sides like Ninjago and Lego Friends, usually hit 50 to 75 percent off. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It will help the channel out. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.